Hello friends, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to set up our programming in Visual Studio Code. So first I want to tell you something about the R programming for those who are very new in the R programming world. Basically, R programming is a dynamic language built for the statistical computing and graphics. Most commonly used in the statistical analysis, scientific computing, machine learning and data visualization. And guys, we have our extension in the Visual Studio code that supports extended syntax highlighting, code completion, linting, formatting and interacting with the R terminals, viewing the data, plots, workspace variables. Also, we can see the help pages and uh, this help us for managing the packages and working with the R markdown documents. Lots of stuffs. Okay, so now coming back to the main agenda. Let's begin. First thing first, this is the step one. In the step one, we are going to download and install R on Windows 10. For this, we need to download the installer package from this given link. You can get this link in the description of this video. So I'm just copying this link and going to open the Chrome browser and in the address bar, I will paste it and just press enter. Okay. Now the page is loaded, you can see the R version 4.2.1 and this is the link on left hand side, click on it. And soon you will see downloading will start. Finally, you will get one exe file. Before going to launch the exe, I want to tell you very, very important thing. For Windows user, this is recommended to check save version number in registry option during the installation, which is very important so that Visual Studio Code R extension can easily find out the executable R executable automatically. Okay, I will show you where you have to do this thing. Okay, go back to the downloaded file. Just do a double click on this exe and launch. You will see the setup window the language choice. Select the language as you need. Click next. This is the default location. No need to change. Click next. I'm getting this folder uh, exist message because I have already tested and verified the installation uh, before creating this session. So this is asking me to override. In your case, this will not appear. Now click on the next. This is the uh, startup options. Leave this thing default. Okay, this is the page which I was talking. So this is the registry entries and this is the checkbox. We need to this checkbox checked at this place. Please do not change this thing. Okay, this will help the R extension to identify the R executable automatically and the uh, installation will be very flawless and easy. So leaving this thing here as it is, click next. Okay. Uh, I'm getting this message. Why? Because I have already installed it and I was testing. So a few services were running on the background. That's why this is telling me that this will be shut down or uh, the following applications are using files that needed to be updated. So set up going to update the already existing files. So click next. In your case, you will not get this thing. Once the progress bar complete, the progress you will see the final message click on the finish button now the installation is done now we are at the step two step two is very simple we need to run a simple command we are going to install language server okay so you have to go to the desktop and uh, find out the shortcut for the r this way you will see the R icon R 4.2.1 just do the click and this will open up your RGUI R console. Okay, once you get the R console, 
copy this command install packages and get from the description of this video come here paste the command press enter once you press the enter you will see the list of secure CRAN mirrors it is suggested that you need to choose the nearest CRAN location okay if your country is listed in this list so please select your country from this list if your country is not mentioned here so please the closest country in my case I am selecting this India okay pressing okay and uh, moving further great once you do that you will see few things will be downloaded and will be installed okay and the message will print here like the downloaded binary package is available at this location so important task is done now we are moving further to the next step step 3 now we will open the VS code then we will install our extension for Visual Studio code let me show you this is the Visual Studio code just click here in the extensions uh, in the search box you have to type our extensions okay once you do that you will find the result simply you will get the first result click on the install so this will be loaded quickly I have already done it that's why this is giving me the reload required it's no worries you can uh, reload the visual studio code no problem and you can restart the visual studio code as per your convenience and uh, once the installation is done you will see the message this extension is enabled globally great now I'm coming back to the file explorer so we have done step 3 now it's time to jump into the step 4 in the step 4 we simply uh, try to create a plot okay for this you need to open a folder you can simply create a folder and you can open this folder here in the explorer uh, here in my case I have already uh, working with the auto it so there's a folder available so I'm not creating the new one I am simply going with this folder and creating the new R file so you have to click on this uh, file icon click create new file with dot r extension give the name of your choice and uh, place the dot then r extension so you will see uh, this kind of icon and the file will be opened up in, here in the editor on the bottom you can see language server started message now i have a small code ready which will create the xy plot so I have this simple code present here in this notepad I'm going to copy and uh, coming back here in this file just pasted here so guys this Visual Studio code plugin provides you the IntelliSense facility suggestions help linting and uh, the grammatical correction so all those supports are available with this R extension when you write some script here you will get the assistance from the Visual Studio code which is really helpful great so we have this script ready here in the file now the next thing we have to do we want to run it okay so go to the right hand side and click on this uh, run button you will find that this R script is launched through the terminal and this is the command here on the right hand side you will see the plot okay so because we have the code which is creating a plot the on XY where we have mentioned some uh, figures like a car and trucks so these lines graph will appear in the plot so guys this is overall uh, thing 
for the downloading and installation of R and R Studio. So this is the overall uh, setup process installing R and Visual Studio Code. So guys, now this is all yours. Do some hands-on and start coding with the R programming. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.